going on YouTube? This is Long Lever bringing you a paracord creation. Had a fella, John Laura 62, ask how to make a cancer ribbon keychain. This is one of two ways that I'm going to show you how to do it. I don't have an example of the other one because I don't have any left. So you will see it when we are done with it. Um, this is real simple to do for paracord. You need two seven foot links for a fo total of 14 feet. Doesn't matter what color it is, just two seven foot links. And that's what I have right here. So let's jump in and I will show you how to do it. All right, so what you want to do is you want to have the middle of the cord. Doesn't matter which one goes behind, but you want to make an X, like so. Then you're going to take one strand and go up. And then take that same strand, just the opposite end, and go down. And you'll be left with something that looks like this. Then what you do is you go ahead and cross like so. We have something that looks like this. And you want to take this strand and you want to go under, over, and then under the purple. So like this. All right. And then tighten it up. And you want to pull on all four ends to get it as tight as you can. Like that. Now it doesn't really matter which way you go from here. But you always cross one color, like so. And then go over and under. Like that. And then you have a loop. Go over and under. Like that. And then pull it tight. And it's easiest if you pull on one and then you pull on the one that's next to it. Pull on that one. Whatever you can do just to get it as tight as you can because if it's loose, it's going to look sloppy. And then you just keep building it, and keep building it, and keep building it. Take a strand. Over, under. Take the strand, top strand. Over and under. And that's that. And you just keep doing it, and I will not make you watch me do all of this, but I will be right back. All right, so once you get up to about 34 passes, so if you count each one of these, one, two, three, four, five, six, like that, go up to 34, and you just want to bend it over until you get about the shape and the size that you want. Um, you can make you know the loop really small or you can make the loop kind of bigger which is what I want to do and then for this next part all you have to do is make sure that that goes under all right and then these two you'll pull straight through so grab your uh, your forceps which makes this job so much easier find out about where you want it to be so about right here and then you're just going to bring it through so Pull your forceps all the way through, like so. And you'll want to grab the first one, which comes out the outside. Let's go through a little bit farther. There we go. And pull it through. Make sure that this stays straight, so if it's twisted, untwist it. All right, like so. And you're just going to do the exact same thing. And 
and you're going to pull come on get through just enough there we go the second one through like so again making sure that you know the cord doesn't twist making sure that it doesn't loosen up like it just did oh well you'll pull it tight here in a second so once you have those two through pull it tight as tight as you can get it because that'll close back off Oh, this is kind of a kind of a hard game to play. All right. Then once you get it kind of how you want it, you're going to go back through. Grab your next strand on this side. And in fact, if you can get them both at the same time, that's better. Pinch her down. So close. I've tried this before with the paracord needles. Just doesn't work. The needles, unless you have a really, really tiny one, um, just doesn't pull. Can't get through without messing it up. And you already have enough problems getting it through without any of those problems. Basically your next job is just to make sure that everything is pulled tight. Each one of the cords is nice and tight. You'll want to kind of squish everything back together trying to get nice and even. And then you just restart. Lay it in an X pattern. Um, actually, it needs to go the other way. Pay attention to the way that your strands lie. Because um, you do need your strands in a certain way to get the pink on the same side. Like so. Because then you get to cross it over. And do the whole, you know, down through the loop. If I can get things to cooperate. Over and through. Actually, I think I was wrong. Oh well. If you see what I did, I actually didn't do it the right way. It's no big deal. The pattern is still the same, but I'm going to have a leg that's purple on the outside and not pink. So definitely pay attention to the way that the cord goes or you'll end up having a leg that's not the right color. See what I mean? Instead of being pink, it's going to be purple. So you just have to re reverse the direction that you're tying the knot. But that'll make... Um, I'm not going to finish it up. 
That'll make, once you get down to the even number of segments, that's your basic, you know, one of these. And then at the very end, you just pull it as tight as you can, cut it a little bit longer than normal, melt it down into a big ball of melted paracord, and just squash it down. And I mean, that that won't let go. I mean, it's actually melted to the other cords. But make sure you have that big ball of melted cord on the end or it'll come apart. I'm going to show you how the other way to do it now. All right, so this is the second way of making the uh, ribbon. This is basically just going to be a cobra braid. Um, what you need here is about 14 feet of cord in one solid length. You're going to find the middle portion and make a loop that's 10 inches long. Um, then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and start your cobra braid, just so like so. Drag it underneath through the loop and then tighten it up and that should still be 10 inches or so yeah it's probably right around 10 all right and then just keep the cobra braid going until you reach the very end. So you're just going to keep doing the cobra braid all the way down until you hit the very end of the loop. All right, so once you get it to a good enough length that the loop looks good, what you're gonna do is you're going to take the two loose strands and you're gonna pull them through two of the bottom um, loops down here, just like that. You're gonna bring it up and you're gonna go through a single on the other side, like that. So you're just going to pull it tight, like so. Like so, and then pull it tight like that. And the loop, you know, if you want it smaller, just go up a little bit and just do the exact same thing. And then what you want to do is you want to make a tail about the same length. It's about that size. And then you're just going to do what you did to begin with. Pull that through. Loop down through that. And do that and then you're just going to go ahead and do the braid all the way up until you get to the actual ribbon cut it burn it and you're done and that is how you make the cooper braid that is just really simple and really cool if you like what you watch go ahead and subscribe please check out my other videos and have a good night